Hi, it's Mary Jo McCauley with angelstalk.com and I'm here with a couple more little questions that I have been asked. And um, this time it is, the two basic questions are, are there different kinds of angels? And what do they do all day long? Yes, to answer your question, there are different kinds of angels. Now the ones that we are predominantly interested in are the archangels and the angels. However, the nine choirs, according to texts, religious texts, are from highest to lowest. And I put that in quotes because I went into meditations and the angels told me they do not consider any angels higher or lower than at all. They're all part of the same love energy. They're all part of the same God's love energy. So if it's the humans that need to put these choirs, and this is better than that. But what the nine choirs are, are seraphim, cherubim, thrones, dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and angels. Okay, and I'm going to give you a quick synopsis of what each one is responsible for. You start with the seraphim. They are considered the highest. They're right next to God. And they are responsible for giving him praise all day long and protecting his throne. Then you have the cherubim. And the cherubim, as opposed to the cherubs, that you see the little tiny toddler-like, that's not a cherubim. Now, if you go into the text, you will find that when they describe cherubims, um, it is a four-headed angel. One head is a man, one is ox, one is lion, and one is eagle. There are four wings that are uh, conjoined, and each of the wings are covered in eyes. Sounds kind of freaky scary to me, but that's what they say. Um, that's right below the seraphim. Then you have the thrones. And thrones are responsible for God's justice and authority. Okay. Then you have the dominions. They regulate the duties of all of the lower angels underneath them. Okay. Then you have the virtues. The virtues are responsible for the miracles in the world that happen. Then you have the powers. They um, supervise all of the heavenly bodies in the cosmos to keep chaos from happening and keep everything in balance. Then you have the principalities. They guide and protect nations and also groups of people. Okay. And then you have the archangels, some of whom you've heard of um, probably in the uh, a lot of the Christian texts you can see, you know, you've heard of Michael, and you've heard of Gabriel, and perhaps Raphael. If you keep going on in many religious texts, I've been able to find at least 15. <laughs> and again, I asked, I went into meditation and I asked. Uh, so I've, I, I got 15. I said, how many archangels are, they re are there really? And they laughed at me because they laugh at me a lot. You know, they, Humans take ourselves far too seriously. And they go, there you go, categorizing everything, wanting to have the numbers. They said, you can't wrap your head around the numbers. Just know that the archangels are there to help you. We're here to help you. We're all here to help you. So don't worry about the numbers. It doesn't make any difference. So whatever archangels you know of, that's great. Call on them by name if you do know. And if you don't, just ask who's ever in charge of helping me with this. Please come now. But do ask. Ask all the time. And then right below the archangels are the angels that assist all the archangels with uh, what they're um, being called to do. And then you have uh, guardian angels that are there from your first breath to your last breath. Okay, Guardian angels, it's my understanding that almost all of us have two and some of us have three. And you don't get three because you're extra bad or extra good. <laughs> it's just that they each have different jobs and different personalities. So you generally do have two uh, guardian angels that are there from the first breath that you take in this world when you're born to the last in exhalation when you pass to the other side. And then, of course, there are fairies, the nature, little guys that help with nature. So that's, that's a quick synopsis of the nine choirs of angels. And there is more that is written there that if you know a lot more about each one, that's great. I'm just not going to go into it all here. 
but if you want to have again for many people that, that this is very important you want to know the different choirs that's the basics um, okay so know about the choirs the main ones we're concerned with though are the archangels because they were created to help us okay what do they do all day long <laughs> that's a good question an angel's day is not like ours there is no definite 24-hour period for an angel and that's also why you must ask for their help every time every day they said you know every day that you wake up you can make a different decision you can just choose to make a totally different decision so you need to ask they said you can you have done that and they were laughing at me again because they laugh at me a lot like I said um, you have awakened Mary Jo and decided to totally change your life and that's true I have and I did I started making all the decisions and making the changes that I need to get to where I am now totally flipped my life around but I needed and the thing is I needed the help to do that so I called on the angels but you've got to ask it's the number one rule you must ask for their help there's no linear time on the other side it's just always the eternal now so and it'd be too hard for them to explain anymore but if it's really important to you go into your own meditation and ask them for more of an explanation if they can get it to you I'm sure they will but like I said all you need to know is that our main concern is with archangels angels guardian angels and they can help everybody all day long there's no, no problem that's too big no problem that's too small they're there for you they're not going to be with somebody else and they can't get to you they can take care of it all so realize that the angels are there for you so there are different kinds the choirs and what do they do all day long there's a lot of underemployed angels talk to them ask them for help Mary Jo McCauley angelstalk.com if you have any questions or comments please put them down here or go to my website angelstalk.com till next time see ya